Yo, yo, what's up, guys? It's uh, your coach AF from the Agile Lounge uh, once again. Uh, I received so many uh, private messages, more than comment. It seems that people uh, may, might not have a YouTube uh, account uh, or they don't know how to actually activate it from their uh, Gmail or Google account. But anyway, so they, uh, I've got, I received a lot of messages uh, through the coach address about, um, remember the, the little sizing video where I give a tip to coaches and trainers to actually bring the team down to a gym and uh, do the sizing, sizing exercise uh, about um, how to estimate. And as you know, guys, uh, most of my clients on both sides of the borders, they don't care anymore about uh, estimation. Some of software development company and even sales marketing uh, design company don't even have budget. They just want to make the thing happen, or as they say, make shit happen. So I less and less do this, but if you're stuck in Montreal with uh, all the safe uh, goofy thing and people still want to understand, at least estimation is another story, but sizing, even those without budget that want to make things happen, they need at least to calibrate and to agree within the team on the sizing of small, medium, large. And when I do a walking agreement session, most of the people uh, choose, of course, t-shirt size or, or something that it made them laugh because it's important to have fun. But if you still want to go through uh, a sizing kind of mindset about the capability, the capacity also of everyone, I think uh, using the dumbbell in a gym with or without the explanation of the Fibonacci sequence because mostly the first shelf will always be from 5, 8, now we, we get it, but then it's 10, 15, 20 pounds. So you make them make some reps and uh, they have to agree between programmer, designer, salespeople, even the product owner, uh, she or he should be also uh, doing some reps. So that's the thing, I mean, like there's no, uh, there's no magic, there's no uh, one size fits all. You, you just make a sensibilization, a, a change your mindset and you have fun for about half an hour with a team of nine, ten people, plus or minus one, two. Uh, so uh, you make them uh, some reps according to what they think uh, the work to be done on the uh, value list item or the uh, product backlog item should represent. And when everyone agree of uh, sizing, now you could go uh, easily into your planning to make it happen counter to their capacity of producing the work for a certain cycle that Scrum call it sprint. So I hope this helps. As I said, there's no recipe. As a coach and good communicator, you should use your imagination. So I give you the basic dumbbell, make them reps. If they think they're capable, transfer it to the work they have to do. So cheers, guys, and see you into the next capsule of the Agile Lounge. Give me a like, subscribe, share it, and enjoy your life and keep smiling. Hey.